needed some answers tonight after a U.S. Postal Service worker was carjacked at gunpoint yesterday. Fortunately, no one was hurt and all the mail was untouched. But we're talking about a federal crime here, and apparently there's been an increase in similar crimes nationwide. WAT6 on your side reporter Dominic Webster looks into this ongoing investigation and how that worker is doing tonight. A USPS postman was held at gunpoint Wednesday afternoon along Dandridge Avenue. Matt Haggard with the United States Postal Service said the driver was shaken up, but is otherwise doing well. You get held up, it's not, it's not a good time. So he apparently is taking it in stride. I mean, nobody got hurt. I, my recommendation for anybody that this happens to not working for the Postal Service or working for the Postal Service is give them the keys, give them what they want, and let them go. And when the call came out yesterday, KPD officers responded quickly to the scene, immediately looking for the suspects and stolen vehicle. Their search efforts are continuing. We started canvassing the area looking for the suspects. Our investigators have been working around the clock to try to identify those individuals. The actual police department takes these crimes very, very seriously, and we're working around the clock to identify who these individuals are, locate them, and capture them. The Postal Service says they are prepared for a lot of incidents, but you can't really prepare for something like this. Well, you can't ever anticipate what happened yesterday. That's one of those, you can try to be aware of your surroundings, but apparently now it's just one of those, it's a run-up kind of deal. All I, say, all I can say on that issue is, if that situation happens, just give them whatever they want and let them go on and they'll figure it out. Haggard said with the increase of online shopping and the Amazon boom during COVID, the Postal Service has been working overtime to deliver more packages. With more parcels, it's more reward for criminals because we are carrying a lot more inventory. In Knoxville, Dominic Webster, WAT6, on your side. Dominic, thank you. Hager told us the Postal Service right now is working from 5.30 in the morning all the way up to 11.30 at night, delivering mail, delivering packages. Because of that, one, he wants people just to know, and he recommends that the people leave their porch lights on, try to keep their animals contained, because they could be coming up to your porch or your mailbox 11, 11.30 at night.